Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for another Pokemon Go adventure here on the channel. Today is a pretty special day. There is a, another one of our Pokemon Go community days going on, and uh, we're going to see what we can do to get some shinies. We're going to talk about that in just a little bit. I will point out, not sure if you can see it or not, but it's not the, uh, the best day weather-wise. Currently got a little bit of uh, light snow coming down. Going to be mixed with rain later on today as the temperature increases. I saw like I'm a weatherman giving a forecast. But what's interesting is, segue into forecast, let's talk a little bit about an upcoming event. So, this one I find interesting. Weather focused limited research featuring LOTAD. So basically it's almost, like it's gonna be similar to the, what was it? Feebas was the first one we had of these. Then there was the Clam Pearl. Which by the way, I hear Clam Pearl is still showing up in the wild. It wasn't just for that one research weekend. You do have the chance to find wild clam pearls, so that's kind of cool. But anyway, in late March, actually March 30th here, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. in your local time zone, we're going to have some special field research available for LOTAD. So let's go right to the features. You can read all this information yourself in the Pokemon Go app, the news section. Pokemon that appear due to weather conditions will appear more frequently during the event. Limited research tasks will be available when you spin photo discs at Pokestops. And completing the limited research tasks will award you with encounters with LOTAD, if you're lucky. You may encounter shiny Lotad and shiny cast form in its normal form. And that's pretty interesting. I was looking into this. I think people have said that the other forms of cast form, the sunny, snowy, and rainy, do not have shiny variants. I've never known that, if that's true. So if that is the case, I guess it makes sense that you'd only be able to get shiny normal form. I wonder if they would actually put in shiny variants for the other forms at some point. I don't know, I'm not Niantic, I don't make those kind of decisions. But a new move, the move Weather Ball for Cast Form will be permanently added to the game. And I hope they do have the same effect as it does in the main series where it is based, or the typing is based off of what the weather currently is. That would be very interesting. And as long as you get the re uh, limited research during the event window, you can complete it at any time. So you can stock up on a few tasks. If you can't complete them, don't worry about it. You'll still be able to get your encounters, which will potentially lead to new shiny Pokemon in the game. All right, so the big news for today though, however, well, there's a few things we can talk about, but we're gonna talk about Sceptile. It is, of course, Trico Community Day today in Pokemon Go. It's gonna start at 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. your local time. So for me, there's been no change since the new time frame that they put into the game. Trico will appear more frequently in the wild. Lure modules will last three hours for the duration of the event. Evolve a Grovile into uh, Sceptile during the event or up to an hour afterwards and get the exclusive move of Frenzy Plant, as we all knew it was going to be, of course. Another bonus, four times incubator effectiveness. That is very cool. So what I'm planning to do for now, as hopefully the last little bit of snow starts to melt away, thanks to the uh, rainfall and the uh, increasing temperatures. It is going to be cleared up apparently by the time the event begins, so I should be able to still do some decent recording for our Trico hunt. My earbud keeps falling out. I also want to point out, I've got a new way of making these videos maybe sound better. The new recording I have for the, uh, the game phone should record just the game audio, not my voice, whereas keeping in the earbud makes it so that the phone you're looking at, or rather my uh, audio recorder, does not pick up the game volume. So it should sound decent, I hope. I'll find out in editing later, and if I'm wrong, then just like the video anyway. So anyways, my current task is to not click on Palkia. We're gonna go over to all the eggs. I'm gonna try to hatch all of these. I only got about less than a kilometer for pretty much all of them. I'm gonna try to hatch those up, try to restock the eggs before the event begins. I'm gonna wait until the event begins though to incubate them to try to get that four times effectiveness because basically I've got these super incubators. A 10 kilometer with the four times effective goes down to two and a half. Take that down by another, what is it, 33%. You're looking at just over one kilometer to hatch a 10K during this event. That is decent, very decent. Also, what I wanna do, Wild Breloom, look at that. Also, I'm gonna try to finish these research tasks. I'm not gonna claim the rewards until the event begins because as I spin photo discs for more uh, eggs to pick up, I'll be picking up non Trico research tasks. I wanna try to prioritize getting just Trico tasks because generally you get a lot of good stuff. Great balls, ultra balls, raspberries, pinnat berries. You get a bunch of things during the three hours for catching the uh, community day Pokemon in question. Now, one thing I do want to go ahead and do, let's go and find this Breloom. Because I want to say, I've been having so much fun with AR Plus mode. It, okay, admittedly, my first foray into the world of Augmented Reality Plus, kind of frustrating because I wasn't really quite sure how to handle it. Now, I'm really good when I'm not recording myself. Now that I've got one hand on the other camera, we'll see how things go. 
but it used to be that the Pokemon would jump away when I wasn't expecting it. But see the grass? Keep your eye on that. What I do now, give time for the grass to see how it just shifted downward, it's now locked into position. The problem I was having before was uh, bringing the Pokemon out of the grass before the AR Plus had locked in. That's why it was running away so much. Now, more, I'd say like, you know, say 99 times out of 100, I've been having so much of an easier time getting closer to these Pokemon. For the nice expert handler and almost excellent throws, a little bit slippery on the phone, it is raining, that's going to be my excuse for now. But look at that. Extra Stardust, the earbud is falling, whatever. There it goes. But, just like that. So I'm going to have fun sneaking up on all these Trico. And what I'm really interested in is Trico is one of the Pokemon that, you know, I haven't been, I guess, super, super focused on community days, like the shinies in general, because like, if you get them, you get them. You can't be too upset if random luck decides you're not getting it. Trico has a really cool shiny variant. The colors just really pop on it. I'm looking forward to finding as many as I can. I'll be doing my little tally at the bottom of the screen, of course. So let's stay tuned and see what I get. But for now, I'm gonna keep walking, see if I can catch just the Pokemon. I, actually, you know what? I didn't even realize that was a fighting type to clear up one of my researches. Nice. So I'm gonna do what I can to get these tasks done, get these eggs hatched up. I'll pop back in as they hatch, show you what we get, and then I'm off to Heroes Beacon for a Pokemon TCG tournament at our Pokemon League, which at the end of that, will lead us into Trico Community Day. So stay tuned as we begin. I'm also keeping my eyes peeled for any soul rock in the area too because another thing we didn't mention in the news because I'm bad at my intros is... Nope, wrong one. I'm really bad at the intros. We're currently in the Equinox event in Pokemon Go. So basically a lot of grass types are spawning from March 19th to March 26th. Grass type Pokemon such as those listed will appear more frequently. Lunatorn and Solrock will switch hemispheres at the start of the event in celebration of the Equinox. These Pokemon will stay in their new hemispheres, yada yada yada. But what's not listed in here, apparently their shiny forms are available from what I've seen on Twitter and Instagram. So if we see any, we might happen to get Solrock. I actually already have Solrock because when they first came into the game, Solrock were here in my part of the world, North America, and Lunatone was elsewhere. Then they switched. And they've actually been switched for many, many months now. I don't know how many, but many. So, I'm gonna get some more Soul Rock candy, but also, even though I said earlier, shiny Pokemon are not the only thing and I'm not really super focused on them. You never know when you might get a cool looking red, shiny Luna, or not Lunatone, Soul Rock. I wonder if there's any Lunatone raids going on as well. Because if so, you could get a shiny, you know, decent stat raid boss, Lunatone. Or if you're in another part of the world, maybe you get a soul rock from something like that. I don't know. Anyways, let's keep on walking and get these eggs a hatching as I pop down to this local team instinct gym and add one of my fighters in there to defend it. All right, here we are at the St. Andrew St. David Church. Good old team instinct. We see shiny Hound Doom is guarding the place right now. Let's uh, follow that trail. Let's put shiny Hound Hour in there. Nice little family togetherness, I guess. All right, so upon spinning this, do we see our eggs begin to hatch? Because I walked 0.2 kilometers, I know I did. Let's find it, let's give these guys some berries, actually. Try to, eh. I normally give the berries that I have the most of, which is those pinnat berries, but I kinda wanna keep them for when we start catching a bunch of Trico. So, let's be economical with our berries. Now, come on, eggs. I walked 0.2. Now, we have to reset the game again. It likes making me do that. I'm gonna walk a little bit more first, and then I'll do a quick reboot and see what hatches. And apparently the game does not like the sound of the word reboot, even though it was an amazing 3D animated cartoon series back in the day, because the eggs are now hatching. We got five of them cracking open, three 10Ks, two gift eggs. Let's see what the first 10 kilometer sends our way. Not bad, not shiny, but not bad. Candy's always good, although I have a nice 279 candies for these guys. You are really strong, so not even top tier. Let's see what this one gives us. Come on, give me some good thoughts out there, folks. Click that like button, that increases the chances of rare stuff, doesn't it? Hey, Absol. Yes, Absol and Mawile are now hatching out of these eggs, apparently. They get Mega Horn, you see that? Battle with the best, maximum attacking stat. All right, a gift egg. I'm still looking to get some more happening to choose the uh, main Pokemon to be my Blissey. 
Remember back in the day when this was the most sought after of the Alolan forms? Because it was only like in what? 0.018% of all the eggs out there. And battle with the best with max HP. Very good. We got another 10 kilometer. Then I gotta get back on the hunt, try to restock these eggs and try to find more fighting and ground touches. They're not popping up a lot. Two Aerodactyl. Weird. Non shiny though. But it does have ancient power, which can boost your attack and defense sharply in battle. All right, the last gift egg. What does it gift us with? I mean, why not, right? What are your stats like anyway, little girl? You have really strong HP. Okay. Well, that has completed a task, but again, I'm going to wait and claim it till the event starts because I want to try to keep all my research stops around here unspun, unclaimed until we can get all those Trico researches. But I still got five minutes of the star piece. A little bit more, I can try to hatch these eggs. I'm gonna try to get moving quick and do that. All right, the five kilometer is hatching right now. And if we're lucky, the 2K should be right behind it. What do we get? Planko, I mean, I haven't evolved another one of these guys in a long time, but I'm now over 300 candy, which is usually my plateau for evolving Pokemon. I could evolve this guy later on. Battle with the best with strong HP. Cool. Do we see the 2K? Come on. We're so close. All right, if something amazing hatches out of that, I'll show you that. If it's run to the mill, I'll probably jump back in as soon as we start the Trico event, the community day in Pokemon Go. So stay tuned for that. As uh, I try to pop inside and get away from the rain that's turning back into snow. Oh no. So it's now about 10 after three, a little bit late to starting, but uh, it is time for Trico Community Day to begin. Before we do any hunting of those Pokemon, let's incubate. The uh, last egg was only a Swablu, so nothing too crazy. But I wanna see this. We're gonna super incubate our 10 kilometers. We got six super incubators left to work with. Should be about 1.6, I think, 1.7 to hatch those up. That is awesome. Boom, there we go. They should all be hatching within short order of each other. I'm gonna put this in the regular. It's a nice two kilometers walk. I'm going to incubate our gift eggs as well. And we do, there we go. Got this one from Cheese Dibble the Cat from Florida. And we got this from Maryland, United States it looks like, so 1.2. I'm gonna wait a little bit. We're gonna walk about a kilometer. I'm gonna put the 5Ks in some of those super incubators as well and see what we can get. But let's start off our first encounter for Trico Community Day. Do we see a shiny? Let's wait for the grass to lock into place, as always. All right, there we go. It's a regular Trico, but the day is young. It is kind of rainy out. I guess the weather was not quite accurate. So we're gonna have to contend with that for a little bit. But I'll try to walk inside for the most part. If anything amazing happens, I'll show you along the way until we pop back outside on our shiny Trico hunt for the day. So I also gotta clear out these field researches as well. And let's see, there's my stamp for the day. Awesome stuff. This one, I think, was for catching ground types. I think Sandshrew is actually the reward. Could we get a shiny Sandshrew by any chance? No, a regular. I'm gonna catch this quick. I'll be right back and claim the other research. All right, the next reward for getting one egg hatched up. Let's see what amazing Pokemon this is going to be. Will it be a nice shiny for us? Will it be a Happiny? Probably not, because I'm pretty sure those are only egg rewards. It is. Stubble. Cool. No one's shiny though, because I'm going to catch this. There's many more Trico to be found here in the mall, so let's see what we can find. We got us a shiny Trico over here. Now, what, what was I saying about the colors being amazing? Look at this thing. It is gorgeous. All right, of course, got a golden Raz. Very careful. Another scary thing about the AR Plus is the tile floors do confuse the, uh, the system a bit, unfortunately. So. I try to get it showing up against a wall so it really has nowhere to run to. Don't get the catch though. First shiny of the event. Very nice. Now there's still many more Trico to find. I was kind of hoping for sunny weather. So we're going to get weather boosted ones. But at least this one's really strong. Attack is really strong. Very nice. Boom. 
our first shiny down. Many more potentials to go. Let's continue. Our first research task of the event is a whopping catch three Trico. How do I know that? Because generally, that's what it is. Four great balls. I don't use them. Let's get there out of that. So looking for fighting type Pokemon as well, but they're not spawning too much. Do we get Trico shiny right here? Wait for the grass to show up. Where is it? Where is it? You're here somewhere. Now, another thing that I notice about the game sometimes, it doesn't exactly spawn the grass on the level that you're on, so that's a bit of a problem as well, but I can kind of work around that. Regular. Moving on. Another shiny landed on the bench over here. Oh, nice. Let's see if we can get it. Now, another thing with the AR Plus, if it lands in an object, it does... I didn't steal nobody's shiny. This is my shiny. I worked hard for the shiny. It uh, sometimes doesn't read properly. It says there's an object in the way. But let's see, can we land the throw? Okay, it did land. Do we make the catch, however? So it used to be that I kind of wanted to get four shinies so I can have one of each evolutionary form and two of the uh, final evolution. So I have one with the special event move, one without for a little bit of uniqueness. But now that we have be able to unlock a second charge move, I kind of okay with just getting three shinies. I can have one girl vial, or sorry, well yeah, one Trico, one girl vial, one Sceptile with both the event move and one non-event move. This one's also really strong. Very nice. We're gonna throw a favorite on you just to be safe. And uh, continuing onward. We're also gonna get some more research tasks though. Get some more Pokeballs and some berries. Look, look for some fighting types too. Where are they at? Moving on. Another shiny right here. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Calm down. Oh, hang on. No, we're not done just yet. Actually, my little buddy Cheese Dibble also got a shiny. It might be the same one. He said his was 600 something. This one's 804. So we're going to use the Golden Raz, of course. Sneak up on it. I, again, I can't get over how much I love the colors of this shiny. It is like some shinies are pretty bland in comparison to the regular, but. This one stands out like crazy. I do enjoy the colors. I mean, would I like it more if it was purple? Of course, purple's my favorite color, but I don't know, I'm kind of happy with it as is. All right, let's check your stats. Room for improvement. I mean, I'll still throw a star on you. All right, three down, which I'm basically happy with. Let's move on and see if we can get some more, though. All right, we have eggs hatching. We have a gift egg right now, I think. Is everything hatching right now? Did I not incubate properly? Ah, well. We got a lowland diglet. Yay. Because who doesn't want an lowland diglet again, right? I mean, it can battle with the best of them with max defense. And it's from all the way in Maryland, United States. So what's this next gift egg? What do you think? We're going to get a happen, you guys? Going to get Riolu, maybe? You're thinking Riolu. It's Azuril. It's almost the same thing. They're both blue, so I mean, it's practically like you're right. With a max attack, max HP, though, not bad. All right, so the remainder of the eggs. Still 0.5 to go, so I'm just gonna incubate a couple of these. I got two uses left. Incubate you as well, I'm not sure which ones you are, but we're gonna incubate this. Go to a whopping 0.5 for that hatch, boom. All right, let's take one quick little check here. Do we have a shiny treat go as we get the grass to activate? and to jump into the corner. You're gonna be a cornered wild animal if you actually Where's the grass? We got another evolution happening back there for another shiny. One of our group members caught their third one also. And can we get the grass to lock in? It's hard to tell if it's locked in or if it's waiting to lock in, but it's a regular. So we're gonna move on for the next shiny grass.
All right, this is the big one, everybody. We have 10 kilometer eggs now hatching. I think I got two of them on the go. Let's see what we going to get. A non-shiny Dratini. Okay, whatever. More candy and stardust, I'll take it. Uh, really strong. Uh, really transferred, to be honest. Okay, so we've also got this 10 kilometer, and I think, and we hatching the five ones as well. Yay! We got us a trap inch! Who's not tired of seeing trap inch out of these 10 kilometer eggs, right? Show of hands. I would show my hands, but I can't. I'm holding too much stuff, and I am tired of seeing them. But we still got another 0.4, actually 0.1 for the last uh, 2K and 0.4 for the uh, 5Ks. Let's keep on hunting for more Trico. All right, so let's make up for that trap inch hatch. Let's get us a shiny Trico. How about that? I was actually right this time. You guys don't see, <laughs> you guys don't see all the times I edit out the times that I'm saying here's a shiny and it's not. So it's like, you know what, whatever. But let's get this nice CP13 shiny Trico. It's not sad. <laughs> this guy here saying it's sad. It is room to grow. All right, but let's see the stats. Now, you say sad. Wait till you see the amazing stats on this thing. This thing is really strong. I've got three really strong shinies today. Strong is HP. Is that gonna help that I can die in a hit? It will. It'll help a lot. So, that's four oh shinies. God, let's keep on up. Another egg hatching right now. Let's see what we get from a two kilometer. And we're gonna see the other ones hatch as well. Ah, another Swablu today. That's interesting that we don't get anything. No shiny, but hey, you know what? I'm happy with the shiny luck we're getting though thus far. And the other eggs, not quite ready to hatch. But we might as well toss this into the standard. And 1.25, I believe it'll be. Well, 1.3, round it off. All right, 0.3 kilometers, we'll be hatching another couple of 5Ks. Let's keep moving. Well, it ain't a shiny, but I just captured a 100% Trico. Not bad. Stats are all maximum. That's a favorite right there. Boom. Very cool. All right, so I'm gonna have to stop for a little bit and upload some video footage, but then I'll be back on the hunt for the last little bit of time. I'm now getting set off on the last leg of the adventure, about 40 minutes to go, but my batteries are running low and storage space is running out. So let's see what we can do for some last minute research. I haven't been doing any research for poor Trico. Nothing really, well, I haven't even spent too many poker stops, first of all. Catch three Trico for a couple of rat, or sorry, gold, uh, not even gold, a couple of pin-at berries. There we go. I can do that. Let us see if we can find one more fighting type. There is one just around the way here, so there it is right there. But let's check the Trico first. Could get a shiny right here, our fifth. I've got four thus far. We'll get the grass to show up. Can we get the grass to show up? <laughs> Really? There we go. All right, so let's get it to lock into place. If it will do such, unless it's already locked in. You know what? Here we go. It's not shiny anyway. All right, let's see what we can find for the last little bit before the batteries die. All right, the five kilometer eggs are now hatching up. Let's see what we get. I actually wouldn't mind Piplup. We need more Piplup candies to evolve Triton, our Primplup. We get a Snowver. Nope, sorry, Snow Run. Why do they have two Pokemon names so similar? I don't know. It's almost like Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. Okay, those kind of make sense. What's our last egg gonna give us? And I think the two kilometer that we just, no, was it another 5K that we incubated, I think. We got us a Gorilla. It is windy here. Can you hear the wind? You might be able to, but if I keep talking, maybe I'll be talking loud enough to drown out the wind. I doubt it, but all right, we've got a fighting type. We've got to get that for our research to complete that. We've got more Trico to catch, or at least, uh, well, check for shininess and catch. 
So if anything amazing pops up, like a non-shiny Makapita, I'll show you that. Otherwise, I'll be back in a little bit. So I did complete that catch five fighting types task. Let's see, what do we get for this one? If I recall, isn't it, uh, isn't it Lapras? I think that's what I got one time. Hang on, let's get that grass to lock into place. I think we might be good. It's Magnemite, okay, never mind. Nothing too special here, not shiny, so eh, whatever. There's a major problem with Magnemite in that, look, I'm standing perfectly still. Every time it does this little jiggy, it makes itself even more anxious and agitated. Look, I'm not moving an inch. I'm literally standing still, Magnemite. What are you doing? You can't make this stuff up, unless you work for Niantic. So I'm going into standard mode for this thing because it's ridiculous how much they make it fight in AR plus mode. Okay, this is not even supposed to be a challenge, Magnemite. You're not, you're not special. Get off my screen. Now, that's not fair. That was a research task reward that ran away from me. That should not be permitted. I put the work in to get that Pokemon. Had that been a shiny Magnemite, that would have been a lot more frustrating. But, whatever, this is the game we choose to play. It's too bad they don't choose to program it correctly. But, what do you do? All right, the hunt for shiny Trico continues with this nice, not shiny one. Get back into air plus mode. As fun as it is for things like Magnemite, I still love it. All right, moving onward. We've got just a few more Trico to catch in the uh, Uptown area before heading back home so I can recharge the phone. So. Might not get another shiny while we're here. I'm gonna to try to catch another couple back on the uh, other side of town before heading back into the house. Then we'll do our post-event recap as I get myself a Frenzy Plant Sceptile for our channel right here. So stay tuned in just a moment. Time for the post-event recap, but first, an egg is now hatching. Let's see what we get. Come on, Piplup. You know how to Piplup. Hello, Eevee. All right then, but hey, more Stardust. You can't be mad about more Stardust. You can battle with the best, Ronald, with a really strong HP. All right, so the end of day, end of event recap. As you can see, well, let's keep it on recent. Let's go with uh, Trico. So, we did get the four shinies. We have one perfect shiny as well. Not shiny, sorry. One perfect regular non-shiny. But that wasn't too bad overall. So I think, we got three of them that are really strong. For example, this one here. Hello, random egg in the background. I hear you blowing up. There we go. So that one's really strong. This one is really strong. And uh, this one here is, uh, what was it? Room for improvement, I believe. Yeah, room for improvement. So we're not gonna evolve that one, I don't think. We're only going to evolve uh, two of these, so this one's really strong as well. I'm going to keep the three I have favorited as my main shinies. The other Trico will be, of course, available for trade with another local player, probably for a shiny in exchange. Um, I think this one here, the 163, really strong. HP is only good. The other two have strong in... Uh, let's just recap here. Attack is really strong. And this one up here says HP is really strong. So, given the fact that of course you get the event exclusive move, Frenzy Plant, and it's all about the offense, the attack, I think this one, we're gonna evolve all the way up into our shiny Sceptile with the exclusive move. Look at the colors of this. It's so, it's, it's so cool to see a shiny with so many drastically different colors than what their normal form has. I'm just like, look at the colors of this. The hard part, of course, is gonna be thinking of nicknames for all of these Pokemon. I gotta nickname everything, even the one I'm not gonna keep, the one I'm gonna have for trade. I love to nickname everything. I don't think of something. All right, so let's get ourselves shiny Sceptile. I'm sure a number, I'm uh, sorry, I'm sure a fair number of these have been picked up by many players all over the world with one of our another, one of our another, I can't speak, with another one of our Pokemon Go Community Day events. 
thanks to Niantic. We got the bullets, we got the frenzy plant. Of course, we can get another charged move for some candy and stardust, but I'm gonna hang on to that for now. Last thing we're gonna do is, this is the one with really strong HP, just to double check. It is. This one's gonna be our constant girl vial, shiny. And that, basically is that. That's a wrap, so we wind up with the four shinies, one perfect regular. Not a bad day's work, actually. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so we didn't recap all of the news just yet. There is one more thing to mention. Pretty interesting thing, we will say. Let's go to the news right here. Hello, random Sunkern raid boss. All right, so the last thing to mention news-wise is Giratina's return. So you did your team leaders proud beating up Giratina. Yada, yada, yada. We know what we did. But uh, starting March 28th until April 2nd, so about a week or so maybe, Giratina, in the altered form, as you see up the top there, will be returning to raid battles. But, after April 2nd, it's going to transform into its origin form, which is the uh, serpent type thing. It's going to stick around until April 29th, so we have about a month of the origin form Giratina. So, another chance to get that added to your uh, Pokedex. If you don't have a Giratina yet, you have another month and a week or so to be able to do that, and you have the chance to get the new form. So, do you think we'll ever have a way in Pokemon Go to change forms of our Pokemon? Because that's what I thought was going to happen with, uh, uh, what was it, Cast Form that first came out. I thought we were going to be able to see changing the forms. I don't know if I adjust the camera right here. Because, like, that's what Cast Form's always been about, changing with the weather. But once you catch a Cast Form, it's stuck like that. Same with the forms of Deoxys and Giratina here. Once you catch that particular form, that's what it is. I wonder if someday we'll get an item that can change forms for Pokemon. Because, like, what are they going to do with Rotom? Will Rotom be constantly stuck as its whatever appliance it's absorbed into? I don't know. I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's going to be research tasks to get all those Rotom. Maybe. But anyway, that's going to be a recap. Nope, that's going to be a cap for our Pokemon Go Community Day event here for the Trico Day in Pokemon Go. How did you folks out there do? How many shinies did you get? And did you happen to get any really high stat ones like that perfect one that I happened to pick up? Hopefully you get some really good stats, maybe even a really high stat shiny. That would be great. And other than that, how many eggs did you hatch? I would hope you got a whole ton of eggs hatched up thanks to all that four times incubator speed that we had for the game. But that's going to be a wrap. If you want to see some more Pokemon Go content, you can check out the uh, link to my playlist. I think it's in the description and in the outro to get some uh, other Pokemon Go recaps from my events throughout the... Uh, different adventures they give us, the different, you know, bonus rewards, community days, research weekends, stuff like that. All sorts of crazy stuff going on in Pokemon Go. But if you want to see some more content from myself, feel free to subscribe to the channel today if you're not yet subscribed. You can also join as a member and get some members exclusive perks, including, I'm going to say it's pretty much almost guaranteed to get one gift for me every day in Pokemon Go. I tend to prioritize giving gifts to the channel members for supporting me. You also get some other cool kind of perks as well, which you can see if you click the join button down below, it shows you all the perks that I have available for helping to support myself and the channel. But that is, as I say, a wrap for today. I'm going to go rest my throat because it's starting to get pretty sore again. I'm still under the weather and probably walking around in the cold, damp springtime air was not the best thing. So it's time to go rest up. Thank you folks again for watching. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I'll catch you next time.